John Henry Poole was born in Arundel in 1899 and spent much of his life in Worthing. A self-taught working class lad, he joined the army in 1916 and fought on the Western Front. John was a gifted, self-taught amateur archaeologist and whilst exploring the Downs after the war in 1922, he discovered the flint mining complex at Blackpatch behind me here. He spent the next decade excavating at the site, digging nine flint mines, numerous round barrows and other features. His meticulous plans and illustrations were popular and featured in local newspapers. This is despite some opposition from the local archaeological establishment who felt he wasn't up to the job, though there seems to be a hint of classism in this. Before the outbreak of World War II, John began excavating at Church Hill, just across Findon Valley from Sisby Ring. What's particularly exciting about Church Hill was his discoveries of carvings into the chalk galleries. These are very similar to the carvings seen at flint mines in Denmark, which suggests some connection between the people living on the continent and Britain during the Neolithic. In many ways, John was a pioneer, despite his supposed amateur archaeological credentials. He looked at snail species found in the flint mine shafts to theorise what the landscape looked like at the time when the flint mines were open. He also invited ex-servicemen to join him on his excavations, an early form of healing for people suffering from PTSD, similar to how Operation Nightingale worked today. He finally had the chance to excavate at Sisby Ring in 1952, which he had wanted to do for decades. This was the crowning achievement of 40 years of excavations on the Worthing Downland. And you have to remember, this was an amateur archaeologist. He worked full time during the day and he did this in his spare time. Local residents, including children, were invited by John to help him in his excavations at this site. Those who did so have lasting memories of the opportunity. To find out more about his discoveries at Shaft 27, see the plaque just south of here outside the ramparts. <laughs>